Hello traders, Rich here and welcome to a new video. Today we are going to talk about how to tweak or optimize Fibonacci tool in a way to become a risk to reward calculator. For those who know me knows that uh, we always enter with a fixed risk per trade and our stop loss placement is where the market proves that our analysis is no longer valid or is wrong. Moreover, we always target double our stop loss. Now let's make a live example to understand how to use Fibonacci as a risk to reward calculator. Uh, last week we sent the setup on the premium channel, a sell setup on your SD card H1 because we had a channel, as you can see an objective channel, one, two, three, four, five touches, one, two, three, four, five. And we also have a divergence on MACD, price was making higher highs while MACD is making lower highs. So here's our second confluence. We still need a third confluence to consider the setup valid. On daily time frame, we had a resistance, as you can see, a strong resistance area. So here's our third confluence, and our setup is ready to go, but we are waiting for a, a trigger. Our trigger is always the last swing standing break. Here is our last swing standing on the lower trend line. So we are waiting for a momentum candle close below our last swing standing. We don't enter on the trend line break as we want uh, extra confirmation, which is uh, our last swing standing on this trend line. Uh, we wait for a momentum candle close below it to sell this one. Our stop loss always goes on the opposite side, on the last swing from the opposite side. In this case, here's our uh, correct technical stop loss placement because price broke our last swing low, so a bearish movement is expected here. We are expecting USD card to start making lower highs and lower lows, and our stop loss acts in a way that uh, if price goes up and try to make a higher high, means that the overall trend up is still strong, and our bearish speculation is wrong. Now we know where our, where is our entry and where is our stop loss. And as already mentioned, we always target double our stop loss size. And as mentioned, we'll be using the Fibonacci tool to identify our take profit uh, projection. First of all, let's add Fibonacci to our chart. Then we double click on it to select it. And then right click Fibo properties. Here's the default levels. So we delete them all and we'll add new ones. So we click on add, let's keep it zero, and we enter stop loss and the description. Then we add a new one, one goes for entry. Then we add two for one R, then three for our two R, take profit. Okay, and now then you click on OK. Now you have your Fibonacci tool as a risk to reward calculator. And here's our take profit projection, which is double our stop loss size. Let's make sure. Here's our uh, stop loss distance one and two. And as usual, we move our stop loss to break even when price reaches. Uh, one hour so now we are holding SL on USD card H1 with our stop loss on break even and waiting for our take profit. Now you have Fibonacci as a risk to reward calculator you simply click on it and put it on your chart you can select it and uh, move it or drag and drop it in a way to suit your trading direction if it's a sell or a buy. That's it for this video hope you like it and I'll see you on the next one.